there, sports fans and car enthusiasts. Welcome to the channel. We're rounding out the last three years of our ripping into 80s Donra series, starting with the best year, I think, probably 1983. We're looking for some major, major rookie cards in here. Also, some other cool star cards. We have four packs sourced from two different places, so hopefully we'll maximize our efforts to find something good in here. But uh, I'm excited to dig into this one. We need some cool hits. Absolutely. Our Ripping It Ease Darmer series is suffering a little bit. We're going to make it up, I'm sure, in this episode. So let's get into it. Alrighty, folks, of course, anybody that knows anything about baseball cards knows that 83 was the year that gave us Tony Gwynn's rookie card, Wade Boggs's rookie card, and Ryan Sandberg's rookie card. These are perennially known as the big three. Tops, Donruss, and Fleer all had versions of these cards in 1983. We're going to try and find the Donruss versions of them. But there are some other cool rookie cards in here as well. Julio Franco. Frank Viola, Willie McGee's rookie card is pretty cool. Also, a second year Cal Ripken would be awesome to have. And there's other star cards, obviously, like your Nolan Ryan, Pete Rose, and more. But uh, we are going to look for those key rookies indeed. So let's hop into it. I'm going to go with the two that are outside this package first. And uh, we'll see what we can pull. 83 Donruss going in. Looking for one of the big three, if not more. So far, our series has not produced the biggest winners. We've had some hits, but uh, we haven't had a lot of amazing showing so far. So we, re we really need a home run here. Um, let's see if we can hit one. Bo Diaz, catcher with the Phillies, kicks us off here. Ron Jackson follows him. We'll put that right there on top of the puzzle piece. All right. First baseman with the Angels, Ron Jackson. Bob Baylor, shortstop with the Mets, is next. And we have Dave Smith, pitcher with the Astros. After Dave, we have Dave Collins, first baseman with the Yankees. Bill Buckner, first baseman with the Cubs. Then we have Don Werner, catcher with the Rangers. John Matlack, longtime great pitcher with the Mets here with the Rangers. He was still good at this point in his career. And then we have Tony Pena, one of the best all-around catchers ever to play the game, I think. He was just a great pitch framing, probably one of the best catchers pitch framing. Al Cowens, outfielder with the Mariners. And we have Glenn Brummer, catcher with the St. Louis Cardinals. Glenn Hoffman, shortstop with the Red Sox. After Glenn, we have Dave Concepcion, shortstop with the Reds. Juan Beniquez, outfielder with the Angels. And on the back was Dave Steeb, pitcher with the Blue Jays. So, nothing great in pack number one. Come on, pack number two. Let's see what you can produce. 83 Donruss, hopeful of some big names. Let's see what we can find. Puzzle piece on the top. Oh, yeah, I forgot to say it. the puzzle piece was Ty Cobb. That is the puzzle piece. Don Baylor, good player, kind of kicks us off there. First DH, the Angels there on top. Tippy Martinez, pretty good pitcher with the Baltimore Orioles. Jack Clark, good all-around player with the Giants. John Wathen, many people's omen card on many baseball card channels. Uh, let's see if he is an omen or a blessing here. Tim Stoddard, next pitcher with the Orioles. Kevin Hickey, pitcher with the White Sox. Keith Moreland, catcher with the Cubs. John Butcher, pitcher with the Rangers. 
Hall of Famer Don Sutton there. We have to give a little mini ding to Don Sutton. Not worth a whole lot, but great player. Sutton gets a ding. Gene Richards, outfielder with the Padres. Rudy May, pitcher with the Yankees. Let me adjust my camera here, folks. I'm sorry, that's a little off there. Let's see if that's any better. Little shadows that I can't really get rid of there. Let's see if I bring it a little bit closer there. There we go. Joe Torre. Manager then of the Braves. Pretty cool card there. Bobby Johnson, catcher with the Rangers. Roy Howell, third baseman with the Brewers. And Gene Garber. So far, all we've gotten is a Don Sutton star card. So these two packs were acquired from a different vendor. Let's see if these can produce anything else. They put them in these nice little packs here. These two packs are coming out. Let's see. Can we have any better luck with these two packs of 83, Donruss? And right on the back there's Jerry Hairston, our Ty Cobb puzzle piece. <clears throat> and a message to you, Joe Rudy. You're leading us off. Outfielder with the Oakland A's. Captain America follows him. Steve Rogers, picture with the Expos. There's a nice Johnny Bench. That's a cool star card to have. We'll take that. Little bell for Johnny Bench. Mickey Hatcher follows him and fielder with the Twins. Bruce Berini. Pitcher with the Reds. There's another star, Steve Carlton. That's a cool one to have. We'll take that. This pack's already faring a little bit better. Still none of the, the big three rookie cards, but uh, some nice star cards in here. There's Sweet Lou again, Lou Pinella. We've seen him in previous years. Here he is again, outfielder with the Yankees then. Dwight Evans, another good Desar player there. Card's not worth a ton, but a good player. Then Kiko Garcia, shortstop with the Astros. Gene Nelson, pitcher with the Mariners. Richard Gale, looking like a deer in headlights, pitcher with the Giants. Bill Gullickson, pitcher with the Expos. Ben Ogilvy, outfielder with the Brewers. Larry Weisenton, outfielder with the Braves, and Jerry Hairston, like I said, was on the back, outfielder with the White Sox. Well, folks, one pack left to make 83 worth all the while. Can we do it? Don Robinson looks like he's on the back. Puzzle piece on the front. Ty Cobb, so I'll move these around here. And we have Mike Hargrove leading us off. First baseman with the Cleveland Indians. After Mike, we have Ron Reed, pitcher with the Phillies. I'm going to go a little slower, a little anticipation here. And we drive any kind of hope. Gary Gaetti, that is his rookie card, I do believe. So I think it's, I think Gaetti's rookie card is 83 Donner. It could be 82. I'll clarify that, but I. Mini Ding, if that is indeed his rookie card there for Gary Gaetti. If it is, I believe it's worth a dollar or two. John Curtis. There he is again, folks. Paul Splittorf. I got it right the first time this time. And Richard Dotson follows him. Pitcher with the White Sox. Tim Raines. That's a cool Hall of Famer right there. We'll give a little mini, ring, mini ding to Tim Raines. Lee Elia, manager with the Cubs, follows him. Robert Castillo, pitcher with the Twins. Frank LaCourt, pitcher with the Astros. Chuck Rainey, pitcher with the Red Sox. Doyle Alexander, pitcher with the Yankees. Mike Ramsey, infielder with the Cardinals. Damaso Garcia, second baseman with the Blue Jays, which means Don Robinson rounds out 1983 Donruss. None of the big names pulled. A few star cards that aren't bad. Tim Raines, Gary Gaddy, possible rookie card. Steve Carlton, Johnny Bench, probably the best of the bunch, but uh, four packs and not a whole lot to show for it. So 83 Donruss, not doing us that great. We have not had the best luck in our Ripping Into Donruss series so far here. We haven't pulled any of the key names. Well, that's not true. We pulled a few, but none of the really, really, really big ones. So moving on, two years left, 82 and 81. 
hopefully we can pull some big names there. Of the biggest cards left, we still have Kyle Ripken rookie card in A2 Donners to look forward to. So we're going to get into that one next. In the meantime, folks, leave a comment below. Tell me what your best card of 83 Donruss was for you and uh, which one do you like best of what we pulled here today. And uh, give this video a like, subscribe if you haven't already. We're going to keep the, keep the series going. 82 Donruss coming up next. We will see you for that episode. Have a great day, everybody.